Sistersville today. And this is Main Street. We're going down here to an antique store. This is Main Street, Sistersville, West Virginia. It's an old town. Most of these buildings were built in 1890, the 1890s. There's the Gas Lake Theater. Right up there is the Wells Inn. That big brick building's a hotel built in the 1890s. It says reserved parking. Not here. And right there is the antique store, King's Corner. Later. All these old houses. Right there's a boat launch and there's the river. And right here's the antique store. Right up there is Route 2, way up the end of this road, and then you can see the wells in up here. Later. All right, they don't have antiques in the store anymore. It used to be an antique store the last time I was in here. It's just uh, furniture now, but this guy makes marbles. And this is, uh, can see, Serenity York glass. I guess this guy still makes marbles. This is Jim King, King's Corner. And look at these marbles. He made all of these. Um, you can find Jim King marbles. There he is making them online for sale sometimes. Look at these. They're beautiful York glass marbles. I was hoping to film antiques, but you can see them all in there. He makes these charms too, and he's giving my mom one. I'll get back to you. Now this guy in Peden City, you have to look this up. There's his information. Look at these marbles he makes. These art glass marbles with the faces on them. Serenity Glass or Stephen Struther II. Jim just told me he works in. He lives in Peden City, West Virginia. These are, look at that. These are glass marbles. Wow. You can see he's got some really beautiful ones. Wow, these are crazy. Does that guy have a shop up there or anything? Uh, I don't know if he has a shop. I see that one right in front one that he made. They're, they're... Here's one of this guy's face marbles right here in this case. What's he looking this, for, Jim? That. Look at that. It's big, too. It's over an inch. Later. I heard stories about this croc, and I've never seen one of these. It says, what's it say? J.T. A.J. Thistle. A.A. and J. Thistle. Sistersville, West Virginia. That's one of the best local crocs I've seen. Um, tell you, you guys get gonna tell you another really story of what happened. Well, you wanna pick, I don't yeah. even wanna handle that. Look at that croc. Wow. That's beautiful, Jim. Thank That's you. a shoe stopper. That was in <laughs>
Yeah, lots of pretty stuff. See, $4 for that, $5 for that. That's cheap. $12 for that milk glass hand. See, them bells are two not two dollars and ninety nine cents. That's insane. We love. Look at all these birds and stuff. Twenty five dollars for that. The prices are good, that's for sure. Huh. Look at that sculpture. I bet you that's any like forty dollars. Fifty-three. There's another one like a ballerina, I guess. Thirty-three. They're thirty-three. Five ninety nine for that Scotty dog. Huh. These look like glass con animal. Glass containers. That looks like a candy container to me. I'm gonna buy that Scotty dog. I'll ask him if I can see that. That's what I'm buying in here. I have that looks like a candy container to me. Not all there's some old stuff mixed in. I think that's a can, glass candy container. Cause up in one of the other cases they have, and look, there's Squirrel Man. Eight bucks. That kind of looks like acro agate glassware. See, there's a Mark's figure back here. There's old stuff mixed in. So some of the stuff that's a Fenton Fenton glass shoe there says so see there is There is old stuff in here. You just got to find it That little Scotty dogs nice. I found them broke in the dump see they have books and Huh but it was a, surely a treat to be able to see that Sistersville, West Virginia croc. I've never seen one of them ever. And the story was that I didn't want to have my camera right in that guy's face. I don't really know him that good, Jim King. That I was in, that's the guy's name, Jim King. Um, he told me that a woman called and ordered a couch and they went to her house to deliver it and she just gave him that croc because the store where the croc was made used to be in the building I was standing in. So the, the old store was right there where that croc was, was sold originally in like, eight, I'd say that croc's from the 1870s. Look at all this stuff. And that's how he got it. And I, the reason why I asked if he had it, because I heard the story, somebody else saw it and told me about it. And I've never seen a Sistersville croc like with that name on it. So that's how that came about. That's why I asked him if he had it and they had, they couldn't find it in their house. It was in the back of a cabinet. And finally after 20 minutes, his wife came out with it. So it was really fortunate to be able to film that for you guys but most of this stuff's new but then you come up here and there's a piece of stainware for $25 but it's got lip chips and I got that the croc just like it but that was a pretty cool trip to that and these marbles are awesome aren't they but I'm gonna buy that Scotty doll that's a good price for there's just this is like a small town store here I think it's Handmade Amish market and pantry. It's just kind of a small town store with gifts and stuff. Kind of cool. 
but I'll get back. I'm going to buy that Scotty dog. And I hope you enjoyed the video. This is me and my mom's just out today looking around at places. That place that I was in earlier just just has furniture now. It used to be filled with antiques. It used to be filled. But they stopped showing antiques, I think, 10 years ago, he said. That's how long it's been since I've been in there. But it's a day maker getting to film that croc and show you all. Well, I guess there's another Fenton shoe there. And that dove there looks Fenton too. That squirrel might even be Fenton. All these little plates are children's glassware. They're old. All the prices are good. But let's see if there's any old stuff in here. I might be walking by something that's exceptional. The prices are so good. See, there's some marbles. Marble and stand, $10. That's kind of overpriced. Look at these marble bookends with like Spanish, Mexican dudes on them. These are kind of nice. They're like marble. Well, that looks like it. The only old thing I see that I want is that Scotty dog, and that's a heck of a price for $5.99, it's perfect. And it's a candy container, and so are these ones, because I've found these in dumps before. So that's a good find, that Scotty dog. I think I just found one of them broken like less than a year ago in a dump, and I was bummed out. Now I got a whole one for $5.99. Later. Look, $8, $7. They have lots of beautiful stuff. It'll be a great place to buy gifts. It's just a little, like, town store. See, they have all kinds of figurines. Look, $2, $2, $2. Where are you gonna find stuff like that for two bucks? Look at big guy, that, like, doctor holding the baby, $5. See, they got, you know, it's like repops of old stuff. There's a man cave, it says. It's got, like, natives on it. How much is that? I think it says $14.99 for that thermometer. That's a steal. It'd be like a great gift. Look at my mom over there going nuts looking at this stuff. But look at this. Can, this stuff is so well-priced. Look at that beautiful egg, $5.99. And look at this, how much do you think that that Chinese figure would be? $8 for that. That's beautiful for $8. It's like 12 inches tall. And look at the Buddha heads. I like stuff like this. These vases are nice. And all of it's like seven, eight bucks. See, these little jugs are old salt and pepper shakers are two dollars. And there's like African stuff. Look at that big giraffe, 12 bucks. That's cheap for stuff like this. There's a little piece of modern salt glazed crockery. It's kind of pretty. It didn't make a nice food dish for an animal. It's 20 bucks. Look at that wood head right there. It's probably less than $20. That's really cool. Look at it. Well, I hope you enjoyed walking around with me in here. There's lots of pretty stuff. I'm sure my mom's going to get some stuff. This would be a great place to buy gifts if you're ever in Sistersville. Look at that little wood thing there. How much do you think that is? It's way cheaper than what I think. It should be. It's got elephants carved in it. $8.99. That's a steal. And look at that. $10.99. That's pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Look at these Vaseline. 
vases. That's the most expensive thing I've seen in here, 120 bucks. But these are beautiful. These are nice if you collect glass. Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed, folks. I'm gonna get that candy container to go with my other ones I've dug later. I'm still in here. A lot of this stuff is old. I was talking to the guy here that owns the shop and he buys estates and a lot of this stuff's from estates. So, a lot of this stuff's probably vintage. $3.99 for that dog. And see, that's not new. That's older. $2.99. It's kind of pretty that I like dog because I find the figurines and this looks old to me $7.99 for this bank and I'm pretty sure I found one of these before this pig bank I'm almost positive but the one I found was broke that's a pretty good price for that $7.99 these chairs are even nice but I'm out of here now. I, I bought two candy containers. I looked through the rest of them and asked them and they came from a state, so they're definitely old, like five and dime candy containers. I bought one of these other ones too. I found it before, but these ones are in better condition than the ones I had. So that's a plus. Well, anyway, my mom's checking out, so I'm getting out of here. Hope you enjoyed. All right, this is the stuff I got. I got this Scotty Dog candy container and it's just mint condition. And you guys that uh, watch my channel on a regular basis, I did find one of these. My mom said she remembers it too. It was breaking like right there and I was bombed out, but now I got a perfect one. Little hard candies came in this and then they had the metal container. But my mom conned this one out of me. It's going in her house and I'm taking this one up. I got this one too. I found this one too. But I got these two things and you get to see some cool stuff. Um, these marbles were awesome, and that crock was awesome, so that place used to have tons of real awesome antiques, lots of them, and the whole downstairs there, but they stopped doing it 10 years ago, and it's been 10 years since I've been in there. It's just all furniture now, but it was still worth the trip. Later, thanks for watching. Yeah, I just went to the river. The river's up, and there's snow all over the ground, so there's basically, I can't do nothing arrowhead hunting and I surely can't dig bottles with multiple inches of snow on the ground and the ground's free so it'll be a few days before I can do that but here's my pet squirrel the squirrel man he's having him some kiwi and he's got the here he likes him things like apricots maybe I'm not sure I forget what they are, but it's he's one of his new favorites. Look at him. He slimmed down a bunch too. Tell him you've lost several ounces of your gut, your squirrel gut. He was getting big. I've been letting him swim in the bathtub once a day and he's on a fruit diet. Tell him you're on a fruit diet, squirrel man. He's just he just loves the fruit. This is his lunch time for him. Tell him, squirrel man. You love it. What? Nobody's taking your stuff. Nobody's taking your... Your squirrel treats. What a dandy, huh? What? He's still got a piece in his mouth. Look at him. What is this? And I got a package. Somebody... Twin Digger sent him another blanket. He's got an, he loves it. I'll do the video of me opening it. There he is, back on his new Twin Digger's blanket. Eating his stuff. Here, I'll put you another piece in here. He'll eat all that. But I just wanted to put on a video of Squirrel Man here, so. He's back in his squirrel lair, his corn dog box. Maybe I'll make him a new box today. Look, there he is for the other one. What a dandy. What a dandy. All right, folks, later. I never show him down in here. This is where he, I just put his fruit down here so you can see. Look at the mess he's got. He's got corn and sunflower seeds and all kinds of stuff tore all out of his bowl. 
You can see all the knots back in there under that ramp he's got hidden. Tell him, Squirrel Man, you got knots hidden everywhere. But I thought I'd shoot him down here. I think he's having some of these mangoes here now. Yeah, or not mangoes, apricots. I don't know. He loves them. Are you in the bowl? What are you doing? He's liking that. Look at him. What the heck's going on here, Squirrel Man? Are you hogging? He's a ball hog. Look at him. Swatting at me. I'm gonna get it. You take a cheek rub. It's the ball hog. Look at him. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of a bummer I went to King's Corner. They used to have so many antiques. I mean, the whole place was filled with all kinds of smalls. I used to buy all kinds of stuff back here in the 90s. But no more antiques, so... Um, but at least I got to film the marbles, and I heard about that croc, and I asked him about it, and he had it in his house, so he got it out, luckily. You'll never see that croc filmed again. That's a rare West Virginia salt glaze croc from, like, I'd say that one's 1870. It's right, or maybe even right around the Civil War. It's 18, late 1860s into the 70s, I would guess. Um, from the age of when the store used to be there. The building I was in is, is where the store was at. So, But there's my pet squirrel. He'll be in future videos. He's doing good. You can see he's, he's hogging all his fruit. Look at you. Look at him. He looks like a squirrel Buddha. Look at that big belly on you, squirrel buddy. You're loving it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, fix.